Isn't that scarf a bit too high profile? I think it fits me just well. Huh, you chose a grey shirt. Wise decision. <sighs> Looks like you're fully prepared. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce the first debater of the day, Pedro Paul Gonzalez Reyes. Graduated from the Law School of the University of Sao Paulo, he is a member of the committee and, more importantly, the challenger of the debate. The other debater of the day is the delegate of the House of Integrados, Mark Hall. Over the past ten years, he has served the foundation by drafting countless acts and conventions. The topic of the debate today, storm reformation. Manpower and discipline is exactly a work of his. Both sides are seated. Before we start the debate officially, I suggest we give Mark, the draft writer, an opportunity to introduce the draft. Would you please, Mark? With pleasure. Storm Reformation and its advocators believe in such a goal. In this ever-changing environment smitten by the storm, this draft will help the Foundation win the trust of a considerable number of Arcanists who have different backgrounds and abilities in a more efficient and stable way. That is exactly where I must raise an objection. The draft has a huge risk which Mark Hall has not realized at all. No, sir. I totally understand what you're trying to say. You have put forward several questionable arguments to prove Verton's suspicion of disloyalty. In response to that, please allow me to invoke the following cases to prove Verton's competence for leading the unregistered Arcanists. Please turn to page 373 of Verton's personnel file. As you can see, since Burton became the timekeeper, the number of unregistered arcanists she has rescued so far is 63. That is a number unmatched by that of anyone present. If that's not enough to prove her loyalty, let's continue. I have to say, Mark, you have completely misunderstood my point of view. I don't care what Burton has done but the feasibility of the draft. According to the existing regulations, the duties of educating and disciplining unregistered arcanists are taken by the School of Discipline. While you suggested in the draft that Timekeeper's personal teaching would replace the current collective training. Have you ever thought about the budget that we could possibly spend on it? The Foundation spends an alarming sum of money on education every year, and there is no way we pay extra for personal training. Oh, uh, what budget? <laughs> um, I don't see why we're talking about budget all of a sudden. <laughs> Did you really read the draft? I didn't mention a word about budget. Of course you didn't, which exactly proves you have never realized the risk I just mentioned. Oh, it seems the real topic of the debate has just surfaced. I believe everyone in the hall is looking forward to where it goes, 
So, Mark, in terms of this point, we would like to know your real thoughts. Blackstone is left there alone. That last move is also a defense in panic. If I were the player... What is it? Senato asked me to give it to you personally. Dear Madam Z, with this letter, I send you my best regards. I have been instructed to manage affairs on behalf of Timekeeper during her treatment. Please let me know if there are any missions to alleviate the situation. I will do my best to meet your expectations. Sincerely, Sonetto. Good news. Exactly. Oh, you're also here? Yes. I am taking combat drills with the Artificial Somnambulism Training System. Six hours. I'm not the only one goofing around. No, I'm not. I am not goofing around. I am waiting for orders.
well, much luckier than me. I have so many things to be. Beat Baklushe. Have you heard it? Literally me. I should have turned down the offer when they promoted me to the Foundation headquarters. They don't have any field missions for a flying witch. Is it because of the provisions of talent protection? Only God knows. House Arrest may be a better name. Hmm. Look, since we're both bored to death, do you want to have a try at some difficult things? What is it? Hmm. This. Have you tried the artificial somnambulism joint training? Put on the helmet together and switch to multiplayer mode. Two operators can take on a harder training mode. More insane enemies! <laughs> like playing in the arcade. Uh, okay, shall I turn this red knob? an arcade. Plan A, Plan B, Plan A. Three, two, one, down. A mice pod. A mice pod. A sword shot. Plan B, Plan A. I know the name, and this is an alien city. Three, two, one, down. The show's on, hounds. I believe in you. My sword sharp. Time waits for no one, even for a great. Premia sereno intenso ad infinito. Sempre caro mi fu quest'ermo colla. Plan A. Plan B. Depict the world I have never seen before. Unconventional choice. A mice pod. Each moment, now night. A 
my sword sharp. I believe in you. Plan A. So long lives this, and this gives power to thee. Lenia Sereno intenso ad infinito. Shows on, hounds. Plan A. Plan B. Time waits for no one, even for a great. My sword sharp. I believe in you. Each moment, now night. So long lives this, and this gives power to thee. Sempre caro mi fu questermo colo. Depict the world. I believe in you. I know the moon. And this is an alien city. Each moment, now night. Gloria Sereno intenso ad infinito. Plan A. Plan B. Plan A. Mm -hmm. Hip hip! Hooray! I am exhausted. <gasps> Almost joking! for centuries. <sighs> How many times did we die? Sorry, I cannot do math now. My mind goes blank. <sighs> Who would expect the Senato would have a brain fate? Have you heard the result of the debate? I heard that. The number of people opposing the draft significantly increased after the debate. Hmm. <laughs> it's not going well. Soon will be the voting session. The opposition has taken the lead. 
I hope Miss Druvis can hold out. You visited them? I submitted a request to enter that building. The system arranged guards to accompany me to ensure my safety. The moment they entered the building, they started sawing the trees, saying that they need to carve out the path. Since then, I have not been there. Four and a half weeks. After that, they can't hold on for any longer. Really? In that case, the vote result has to come out before that. Hi. May the peace be with us. <sighs> Hello. May the peace be with us. Do you mind giving us some privacy? Do whatever you like. Here is Madame Z's message. Please visit her in the office on Friday. Ah, okay. Copy that. Thank you for the message. With pleasure. Wish you a good day. Are you leaving? Yes. Do you know how the penalties for destruction of public property of the Foundation and Brawl are determined? Huh? Well... According to measures of the Foundation for Administrative Penalties, based on the severity of the circumstances, fines will be imposed and the offender's salary shall be deducted accordingly in minor cases, while detention or expulsion shall be imposed in major cases. The penalty also depends on what is damaged. For example, production tools, household goods, buildings, equipment, and facilities, etc. These are the properties that involve less cost and limited influence if damaged. If the number of people involved in a brawl is equal to or less than 8, and there are no major casualties, the penalty will be minor. May I ask what happened? Why are you asking this all of a sudden? Nothing. As I said, bored to death. So bored that I have been paying attention to the Foundation's regulations. Even the flying manuals failed to win this much of my attention. So long, Soneto. Hopefully there's good news for us next time I see you. We are falling behind even further. A vote or two won't help us turn this around. I know. The move to deny was indeed useless. The arcanists that were on our side have defected. I misjudged the situation in the debate. I was going to seize the opportunity and the initiative. To seize the initiative. May perhaps the chance. That is to say, don't pull back, don't jump, even when they're attacking. But to focus on the bigger picture, to win strong positions. The 
black suitcase. Then the white honey and the black counter honey here. The white stand. The black osai. <gasps> Through these moves, I see. The move to D11 can save us more than ten moko stones. We can still win within ten moves. Mark. Yes. Are there any other things we can do? We need an influencer, a leader who can win us more than ten votes. Give me the file of the uncommitted leaders, including those who were neutral about this issue in the beginning. Okay. Boss. No, too young to be convincing. Noni, head of the Natural Resource Committee. There are only three of them in the group. Senator Bernard, leader of the Mankind Caucus. Forget. Bernard. Ah,、oh, yes, he can be your man. He is eloquent and leads a group of eleven. All of the eleven are his loyal followers. Why is he uncommitted? I thought he would be the first to vote. Perhaps they believe it's a sure bet. Find out what he's been up to. But Madame Z, are you sure you want to cooperate with him? This doesn't make any sense. We don't even serve the same group. Mark. We're all serving for the Foundation's future. I just want to know what he needs now. <sighs> the office in Chicago, U.S. He is trying to cover that region with his influence. Bernard believes the employees there are guilty of serious dereliction of duty. They discriminate against humans of different classes, and are suspected of committing electoral fraud. In collusion with the local capitals, the Supreme Court's investigators have already intervened, but they cannot go out due to the storm right now. So the case is pending investigation. Chicago office. I've read the reports on there. I see. Great. Exactly what we can help with. Through what? Through Sonetto. I have a meeting with her on Friday. This may lead us to a win-win situation. To be. An unconventional choice. Three, two, one, down. Two, one, down. 
I will pray for you. Sorry.